hello guys welcome back to this training hope you've been following through the training up to this extent so in this video training i will show you how to get a free domain name and free hosting to host your website for practical purposes or to host just a website online so i'll be giving you an introduction to the concept of domain name and hosting so let's let me show you something let's see what is a domain name so if you come to this website.com you see what they define the domain name as a domain name is your website name a domain name is the address where internet users can access your website so for me after several checking out and research for this i just defined a domain name as a unique identity given to a particular website so that is just the general concept of a domain name and all of that so now there is a domain name and then there is a hosting these are the two things you need for you to start developing your website and the people that has this function of giving you and selling out this domain name and hosting are called registrars so we are going to when we go deeper into the training we will touch all this so now what is a hosting a hosting is just like a space where your website files are stored so uh, from this website.com you can see what they define the hosting as web hosting is a service that allows organizations and if individuals to post a website or web page onto the internet a web hosting is just like a space where you can store your web files and all of that so that whenever people come they can access it in the internet so now for us to get a free free hosting for our website so that we can actually start building our website we are going to go over to a website called infinity free donet so you can see the website here the website allows you to host your website for free there is a paid hosting and then there is a free hosting so this website allows you to get free hosting to host your website so you can actually pay and then start hosting but the only thing there is when you pay for a hosting you have full access to everything but there are restrictions when you use this free hosting so but you can actually use this when you want to use a purpose of training maybe you want to try and start building a website just for practical purposes you can use this infinity free donate so once you come to this website you are going to register on the website so let's register on the website so i'm going to put my email i'm going to put my email I want to put my email so that you can register on this website. I'm going to put my email. I'm going to put it again, my password. So I have read the terms. I'm not a robot. So this is recapture. So I'm going to scroll down. And then create new accounts so just follow my process and then we are going to go right and continue in this training so you see that they've sent me an email they sent me an email just now so let's log into my email and then i check for that email so once you just get this email they will tell you to verify your email so let's wait for this to load so this website allows you to get free hosting that you can use to practicalize and all of that so let me refresh my email and wait for them to send me an email okay they've not sent me an email yet they've not sent me an email so let's go back Let me click on that. Okay, they say the verification. Link. Okay, now we can see that email. So let me click on that and then verify email address. So just follow my process. You can do this. So click on agree. So now you can see that they've logged me in instantly into my account. So for you to start using this website, just click on create account. click on create account so we are going to come down 
so you can actually use a subdomain and you can use a custom domain so this custom domain is when maybe you purchase the domain name and then you want to host it with them and all of that so so let me say let me just put this name okay let me put um let me just keep put this Chris blog so uh, let me check select the extensions i want let me say i want to select this uh, infinity free app let me select that so i'm going to search if this domain name is available wow you can see the domain chris blog uh, dot infinity free app dot com is available so you can see that so just follow my process so you are going to enter the password okay, let me enter this so I'll click on this so they are asking of our uh, capture so Let's just click on this and you click on next. So you can see this. So let's click on verify. So you can see that. So let's click on create account. Let's click on create account. Wow, you can see your account has been created with username epz so you can see that so now your account has been created so once this account is created you can now start hosting your website for free so you can see this let's view this in client area so you can see what the, the, the details they've sent to you so you can see your e the username you can see every other details you need for you to log in to your panel so let's go back let's log into our control panel so you can add that we've logged in to our view a client so you can actually open your control panel this is where you can now start you can see our control panel so you can see hi this is my username to notify you of changes to service account status changes offers and other important services click on approve so i'm going to click on approve so you see that this thing will load my c panel the c there is control panel the control panel is where you can now start building your website from so you can see the information we have here so you can actually create emails you can create install your ssl into the website into the domain name that you've created and all of that so you can see online file manager this is where you can upload your themes on plugins if you want and all of that so you can see our control panel this same outlook you're seeing here in this infinity free control panel is the same thing you're going to see even if you're making use of a paid hosting so don't worry guys when we go deeper into the training you are going to see how all of this works and then know how to start building your website using your C panel and all of the content we have on our website so you can see this training so you can actually follow the process that will come through and then start delivering this kind of job start telling people that you are a web developer and that you can develop so i get a lot of students who come to me and tell me that i should just send the course to them and then they will pay me but i don't do that you must follow the step-by-step -step procedure for this training and then we're going to continue so in our next video i'll be showing you how to clone and copy any website online 